Pregame.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pregame. We're looking at Tuesday Night NBA. He's Brian Leonard. I'm Scott Spritzer. The Clippers travel to Atlanta, Georgia to take on the Hawks. Hawks currently a one-point favorite, total about a buck ninety. As we talk about this game late Monday afternoon, uh, still some things to play for for the Clippers. Maybe no, not so important to the players as it is to a lot of talking heads, Brian. But the bottom line is the Clippers can still win the Pacific Division. They have to win this game. They have to win their next game against the New York Knicks. And they have to hope maybe that uh, the Lakers are playing three on five against Sacramento and find a way to lose to Sacramento. But the bottom line is they still have a chance to win the Pacific Division as they travel to Atlanta to battle the Hawks. Uh yeah, Sacramento's got a winning streak going. They beat Charlotte. And, there you go. Uh, That's tough to do, just, right? You know, the sad part is Sacramento <laughs> hadn't been a rough favorite all year long. And then they go into Charlotte and blow them out. That tells you how bad Charlotte is. And I think our clients have been very happy about it because I know I have. I yep. uh, found out early they were lousy. But, yeah, th there's a situation here with both teams. The game has some meaning, but it's also right before the playoffs. Both teams know they're going to the playoffs. I'm always concerned the last week of the season on how they're going to treat these games. And if you take a look at the way Atlanta's played as of late, uh, their last six games have gone over the total by a total of 74 points. They're playing free and easy right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I want to back Atlanta in a situation where they need to win the game and in a situation where I'm looking at Atlanta's been playing very free. So Atlanta right now is just looking for the season to end. Let's get to the playoffs. The Clippers, you know, it's, it's huge for them to beat the Lakers in that division. So sure. it all depends, you know, how they feel about that. I know they want to beat the Lakers. Mm -hmm. But the Lakers' schedule, as you pointed out, is a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I'll tell you what, if you look at the first matchup, or the last latch matchup, I should say, between these two on March 14th, it was an L.A. Clippers 96-82 win at Staples. And what I took from that game were a couple of things. First of all, when Jeff Teague goes up against Chris Paul, uh, the two Wake Forest Demon Deacon alumni, it's a mismatch especially when Teague has the ball and the Atlanta Hawks have the ball because he's three for 19 the last two times that he's matched up against Chris Paul. So it's a little bit of an advantage there for the LA Clippers. And also, you know, how are they really, if they're not interested, as you mentioned, they're giving up a lot of points and involved in some high scoring games of late. They don't have their two bigs. They're still banged up. And that includes Al Horford. How are you going to stop Blake Griffin? And how is Jeff Teague going to score on Chris Paul if the Clippers are into this game like I think they will be mainly because of the way they performed for about two and a half to three quarters of the New Orleans game the other day. Yeah, I'm, I, I handicap a lot on emotion and scheduling and I'm not sure how either of these teams are going to come into this game. So this is probably something that I'm going to pass on. Um, my general thought would be if you're going to put, you're going to throw a game, it's probably something you want to do away from your home crowd. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to me, if I was going to look at who's going to play this game harder, um, Atlanta is playing at home. That'd be my only concern if you do like the Clippers in this one. Yeah, I lean towards the Clippers. It's not a play that's going to be released on the websites. I'm not going to make a bet on this game, but I do lean to the Clippers for the sake of what we're doing here today. And I, and I look at what Atlanta's done defensively and the fact that they gave up 54.5% shooting to the Knicks. They gave up 48 or more percent shooting to the Boston Celtics a couple of games ago. And in that matchup against the Clippers, I mean, they gave up about 53 or 54% shooting to Los Angeles at Staples last month. So I just don't know you know, how much desire this Atlanta Hawks team is going to be able to play with on the defensive end, especially without Horford in there to disrupt the flow of Blake Griffin getting the ball inside. So for me, Brian, I'll just say this. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to give out the Clippers here uh, on the show. It's not going to be a personal wager. we got plenty of those, of course, on our, on our uh, home pages of pregame, Brian and myself. But as far as uh, this particular game, I think it's better to say opinion on the Clippers and we'll wait for better spots throughout the NBA. But he's Brian Leonard. I'm Scott Spritzer. Be sure to check out our videos on both Wednesday and Thursday as we're going to be breaking down some Major League Baseball. More right here at pregame.com.